two months ago, I made a video about being a first time solo versus duos. And I may have said that I would make a two part series. The only thing is I never got around to it. Instead, I made a couple weapons videos and then I introduced my Timmy friend to the game. And in the meantime, I drew some concept art for Hunt Showdown's new boss. By the way, I'm still waiting on that call, fellas. Anyways, my next video is going to be featuring my new favorite loadout, which I've appropriately named the Botennial, trademark Domino Inc., then make my next solo video, but I actually decided to play this loadout as a solo versus trios, and things went so well that I get to kill two video birds with one stone. So yeah, one of my new favorite loadouts is a bow with a silent shorty centennial and FMJ. I throw on my favorite consumables, my favorite throwables, and I got myself a little silent slapper. Now with the new update, the devs, they made a couple traits for solo players better. They buffed them. They leveled the playing field. You know, people, they have opinions. Some of them thought this took away from the hardcore aspect that is Hunt Showdown. And honestly, they just had to get over that shit. There is a certain rush I get from playing as a solo I'm starting to love. Of course, I still love playing with randoms and winning games with my friends, but there is nothing, and I mean nothing, that gives me a certain satisfaction like waking myself up from the dead, dusting myself off like Craig from Friday, and serving that Debo that just whooped my ass a two-piece combo with a side of revenge. And fellas, and I guess to the two ladies that I suppose watch this channel, I did just that. A funny match to begin the evening, and honestly, I'm not sure what the five of them were thinking. Sometimes, life just hands you things on a silver platter, and what this game gave me was what got the ball rolling. That might be a twofer. I think another team is here. Oh, great. Crown and King. <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Okay. Okay, everybody's inside. That's cool. Oh my gosh, they're just coming to me like lambs to the slaughter. Now you're probably wondering what the point of this part of the video is. It's called storytelling and character development. Leaving that match with a few kills, count them five. One, two, three, four, five and a bounty set me up with a decent trait points haul. This gave me the cash flow to get these traits, all of which would come in handy later. Here's where the evolution really began. I landed near Slaughter where the Butcher was. I fricked up fighting an emulator on the way in and lost a couple bars, and I damn near lost another bar to the Butcher before taking him out. While the bounty cooked, I hung out for a bit and used my ears like a bat to echolocate other players. My instincts told me I was f Hmm. They're coordinating. I tried to fight through walls, but I'm no John Wick. I decided to secure the advantage. 10 seconds of dark sight thanks to the magpie trait. I went out the south side entrance hoping to take the fight to them, but that didn't pan out. Oh jeez. Knock it. Oh! Creeping with a shotgun, dude, of course. The heartbreak of dying to the creeper by a Romero with penny shot blinded me for a second. I nearly ruined my chance to revive, but I quickly gathered myself and stayed patient. So instead, I laid there like that dude from the first Saw movie, waiting for my time to rise up. Yeah, the Romero's got one shot, son, get out! Got him. There were two players left. Attacking at the very tail end of a fight was probably my best shot. So I ran over, yucked a decoy, a poorly thrown concertina, and forced them to split up. That was a bad toss. With one isolated, I made my push. Oh, missed. Got him that time. Hopefully, his shotgun user friend would have some shotgun user cojones and make his push so I could surprise him with my $47 weapon made of sticks and string. And well, look at that. Oh, geez. 
No, sir. Get out. No, no, no. That was really mean. All right, let's go home. Now here's where things just come together. I was in the process of killing the butcher when I decided to check the whisper. Oh, it's super red, not good. I left the butcher and went outside cause I'm not about to take on a trio with a butcher in the same room. That's just not smart. There's one. There's two. Wonder where they're going. What's the play here, boys? You know, there was a guy in my comments recently that said that he likes to attack when they're in there fighting the butcher. He said, uh, odds are high. Maybe that's the goal. Let's see. Now here's the thing. They never came back. The whisper was white the rest of the way. Now I'm guessing they knew where the assassin was and had plans to banish it, then head back to collect out. my bounty. Either way, uh, I wiped yeah. out the butcher and like Peyton Manning called an audible. So the other team left to go to catfish and see if they could interrupt this. And I guess their plan was to come back. So my plan is to shoot everybody over here first and then go back. So I'm taking their plan. And hopefully my plan works out better than theirs. I honestly didn't have a plan other than, I don't know, don't die. Anyways, I came across a wandering player who I'm guessing was either a solo or ditched his team with a bounty in tow. That's a hit. I'll take some of this. Oh no. How did I shoot? Oh. Oh, I'm out. Three, stay calm, stay calm. Yep, just stay calm. Just then, another team grabbed my butcher bounty, meaning they would soon be coming to catfish from slaughter. I snagged the assassin bounty and put a little pressure on the squad and catfish. Thank you. All right, two more. That's one. I'm out again. I downed one and was hoping someone would go for the bold res when I started to take fire from the west. The slaughter team had arrived. Oy, shit. Got a little sandwich go action going on here. All right, not good. Oh shit, even worse. Oh, this is not good. I have somehow become uh, the victim here. I knew I had to make a decision to rotate soon or both teams would eventually get too close. The opportunity to go further into catfish seemed like the only option at the time. I can't tell if that's a person or a post. That's definitely a person. Oh shit. Bro, Sif, stop shooting at me from the other side. I barely survived. I was down to my final three FMJ rounds and a bundle of arrows. My god, there's so many people here. I don't have enough ammo. Oh, here comes another one. I'm sure he wants a little bit of this uh, action over here. I see him. Holy crap, I can't believe I hit that. A little double rush coming on. I got my help. I got some help from the other side, though. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Here comes the threesome. Oh 
Oh, thank you, sir, for the, the save. Yeesh. Another close call. With one team in the distance and time to loot, I recharged my dark sight and checked the one loadout I had access to. Okay, um, what do we do here? You didn't bring anything I want to play with. Uh, okay. You know, looking back, I should have switched loadouts completely. I honestly didn't want to drop my bow because it was slaying. But not long after, though, I started to hear footsteps drawing near. And I wasn't going to go out there all full send. So I figured I'd try to pick them off one by one on their way in. Here comes the big push. Oh, I needed to hit that one. I needed to hit that one too. Okay, uh, I think this lady had a Bornheim. Okay, so I probably should have done this part sooner, but I decided to trade in my Centennial Shorty for the Bornheim and went to greet them. Looking back, this is probably when I should have really traded my loadouts completely. You live and learn, or you die, and you revive, and then you learn. Oh shit. That didn't kill him. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, the rest of this battle was a little scuffed. I definitely should have hit my shots. I should have healed. I should have moved better. I should have reloaded my weapon completely. It ended- I'm just gonna save you the time. It, did. it ended like this. I'm out of ammo. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. I'm so dead. We're gonna- we're gonna just take a break. Let them loot. Let them get what they gotta get. Then we're gonna get up, we're gonna pick up whatever weapons we can, and we're gonna try to fight back. It is fucking bright outside. <sighs> yep, they ain't gotta be done by now. Alright, let's try it. You know, looking back, I'm not sure why they didn't burn, poison, or trap me. Maybe in all the chaos, they figured I was a lone survivor rather than a solo. And I'm guessing these dudes needed something on the last night of the quest line, like gator traps. And that's why they went the way they did. You know, I'm just as surprised as maybe you are. But at the time, I wasn't a detective. Just a dude who wanted to ruin the night of the men who just killed me. And alas, I saw one in the open, practically asking me to shoot him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What do you got? Give me that. Thanks. I decided to bring the fight to them and play this one a little more aggressively. There we go. Oh. Oh. Come on now, Doc. There we go. There we go. One left, we gotta play it smart. Fuse? He doesn't know? Oh shit, that's a real bomb. Now this fella was kind of a pain in my ass. He was the one who killed me earlier and I was slightly blinded by my thirst for revenge. He was yucking bombs, popping off little peak shots. I could rarely get a clean shot on him. The trees were both hurting and helping me. Alright, reload. We're good. Okay, okay. I got no shot. With all the back and forth, I, I was running low on ammo, so I decided to swing wide left and see if we could settle this shootout once and for all. That was my that was my kill shot, I think. me good uh, good game buddy ggs maybe i can get us a, a revive maybe i can get a revive hold on hold on hold on still hope still hope
That's it, baby! Let's go! Kept, kept on pursuing, kept, kept on pursuing. Yeah.